I mean, if you know how to do roofing, it's it's no different on a federal job than it is in a commercial job. The, right. the, the nuances that are a little different when you go to the federal is that there there is there's more paperwork. You know, right. safety is a huge issue. You know, you're not going to get away with being sloppy with your safety. You're going to be paying prevailing wages or, you know, in some regions, um, actually, the wages are higher than what the government uh, is requiring. So the payroll is a big issue. You're going to have to understand what certified payroll looks like and how to do that. So those are all things that we come alongside of you and help you with. Um, our FAs, our PAs will literally come to your office, sit down with you and do training and help you understand how to submit um, a weekly report on your payroll so that your certified payroll goes through correctly. So, yeah. Very nice. You see, one of the other things that actually shows the investment and commitment that companies like RQ have, I mean, within their small business, because that's a benefit. I mean, you know, because not only is it setting it up to be able to do business with you within the federal government, let's just say it's a new company coming in, but they're going to be able to do that. Now you're teaching them, training them essentially how to work federal um, uh, business itself. And then they can go get another job with a whole different prime. And sure, here's one other thing. And I and believe me, Jeff, I know this is going to sound so you know rudimentary to you because you've been doing this for so long. Right. I mean, but um, are there any limits to the contracts that these guys can take on? Let's just say that there's a small business subcontractor, right? Mm -hmm. when it comes when it when, when it comes down to the capacity and it comes down to the bonding and it comes down to all of that kind of stuff. Like, are there limits that these small businesses will bump up against? And if there are, what are some of the things that they can do to make sure that that if they like this federal contracting game, what is it that they can do to come in and start playing and grow even more? I, I would think you actually mentioned uh, the majority of them, and that is, can you demonstrate that you can bond it? because uh, every single job requires bonding. Yeah. Um, and that's a big challenge. We work with people on that, but uh, your bonding capacity is gonna be huge. Um, looking at your workforce, do you have enough people to actually um, do the work that you're saying you wanna do? Right. Uh, can you demonstrate that? So have you ever done anything that's close to this? You know, I mean, taking a leap from somebody who's just used to working on in residential work to taking on, you know, a, a large uh, a contract with the government. There's that's a big difference. You know, big, just big, to, right. That's right. I mean, yeah. but that's not to say that they can't get an entry weight into doing something or, or, or like, no, you know, I mean, because, no, not at all. Well, all right. So let's say that you guys find a small business and like they might not line up 100 percent, but like you like them, you like the work that they've done. Would would RQ give them a shot with something? Oh, for sure. For Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. And, and I always tell people this. Listen, uh, when I said it was a long game, bid like crazy. Anything that you get invited to, bid the bid it. Because when every time you turn in a bid, it's actually scored. That's actually kept there. We keep track of it. Our system automatically keeps track of it. And so if you become known as a person that consistently is helping us win work, right. you know, and, and you can, here's the nice thing about that is you can, we invite you to reach out to the estimator after the bid. Um, there are, there's a few little nuances that we have to make sure we work around, you know, yeah. once a bid has been awarded and if, especially if it hasn't been awarded to us, we will tell you anything you want to know. Um, but there is a, a bit of a competitive edge that the, the PM, you know, holds the information close to them until they've actually, yeah, you know, yeah. it's always that way. But yeah. always ask for um, for a review from the estimator. That is an excellent point. Right? Just, just make sure because that that's just going to make you get better every time. You know, they'll tell you if you're too high, they'll tell you, you know, too low. They'll tell you you were missing scope. You know, we think you were pretty far off on on quantities, you know, all that kind of stuff. Hey, they're they are there to help you get better at this. And I, I just say the more you bid, the better you're going to get. Your chances are going to go way up that eventually you're going to win a contract. So. That's right. Highest probability. 